What just happened, Mark? I just took the world's first ever sting from a mammoth wasp. Ah! I've caught and been stung by some of the rarest insects on the planet, putting my body on the line against venoms that are completely undocumented by science. But in the hills of Borneo, my journey faithfully crossed paths with perhaps the rarest creature I've seen to date. It is a miracle we had our cameras ready to record this one in a million catch. What is that? Whoa, what the What is that? Holy mother. That is a monster bee, guys. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. I think that's a mammoth wasp. It is aggressive. Huge pinchers, bright yellow head, massive abdomen. This might be my worst sting test yet. I hope you guys are prepared for a big one because what you're looking at there is the giant skulled wasp or more famously known as the mammoth wasp. Not only because of its massive size, but also because it is completely covered in hair, just like a woolly mammoth. Oh my goodness, and it is as intimidating of an insect as I have ever seen. This is bringing back memories of the tarantula hawk sting. I thought that was going to be the scariest wasp I would ever see. Ah! Ah! The mammoth wasp? Way worse. And let me show you why. I'm gonna zoom into that head. Enormous mandibles on a menacing yellow skull cap right on top of its head. Reminds me of a gigantic yellow jacket, or dare I say, the murder hornet. And who knows, maybe one day, the mammoth wasp will be known as the murder wasp. Now there's not much known about this species. To say it is rare does not do it justice. The reason you've likely never heard about a mammoth wasp before is because they are almost never seen, even by scientists. I saw a blog post from a scientist who claimed to have been searching out in these environments every day for three years, for two to three hours a day, and has only seen this species twice. Can you imagine over a thousand days of searching. So the fact that we have caught one is amazing. And then of course, the fact that we're gonna test the sting of this insect, this one is gonna go into the record books of Brave Wilderness, guys, I can already tell. Not only is this going to be a super rare sting test, we're gonna to have to do this one a little differently. So I'm not willing to take any risk with this one. We wanna be indoors while I do the sting test, just in case this wasp is able to pry its way out of the forceps while I have a hold. The chance to take a sting from this wasp and see what this is like is never gonna come around again. I fully expect the sting of this wasp to be excruciating because it is a parasitic wasp. Let me show you what this wasp is out there hunting. Besides nectar, which it does eat, it's hunting for these, the atlas beetle, or more specifically, the grub of the atlas beetle. You see, when these wasps find an atlas beetle grub, they will sting it, lay eggs in it, so it's a built-in meal for the baby wasp. But because they use their sting to paralyze supersized grubs, it's going to need to have a super paralyzing sting. And at this size, the amount of venom that sting is gonna deliver, this will probably be the worst sting from a flying insect that I ever take. I'm gonna call it right now. I think this one's going to be off the charts on the BSI. Let's go inside set up the sting table and see what the mammoth wasp is really made of. Let's go. We've got uh, the team inside this room here. We built a sting studio here in the heart of Borneo. And as excited as I was showing you this mammoth wasp, now is the moment where every sting test, the reality sets in that I'm gonna have to go through something usually uncomfortable. In this case, I think excruciating is the appropriate word. And there it is. Right there. Here we go. We're locked in. Have we done this outside and the mammoth wasps were to escape? There is zero chance we would find another one. This is a one shot deal. No matter what happens, the mammoth wasp is going on the bite sting index. What happens to me, that's what we're about to find out. Got forceps here, all right because there's no documentation as to the effects of this sting or the venom of this species. EpiPen. And then, of course, a little hydration. This is a big one, guys. Had a lot of big stings over the years, but I don't think anything 
is quite as impressive as this mammoth wasp. If this is anything like the tarantula hawk, get ready for some fireworks. We're not going to take a sting on my right arm because it's pretty flared up right now after the carpenter bee sting. Oh, wow, yeah, wow. Oh, ah. Luckily, I got a good arm over here. Left arm, blank canvas for this sting. Now, everybody be aware, this wasp can easily escape. Be ready to react. Here we go. You guys ready? Woo, look at that. And how many of you watching right now would love to be standing right here with me, appearing on the Brave Wilderness channel? Well, now, it's your turn. For the first time ever, we're inviting anyone brave enough to join me and the crew on a real Brave Wilderness adventure starring you. Next year, we are leading groups at two of my favorite locations on the planet. Starting on the East Coast, we will explore majestic shorelines for intertidal wildlife at Acadia National Park. And then we'll head west to the desert mountains of Zion and search for a variety of interesting animals, including prehistoric relics from the past. Not an animal expert? Not a problem. There's gonna be something for everyone on these epic adventures. Over three unforgettable days, you'll also hike stunning trails, make lasting friendships, and learn the secrets of what it takes to make the world's most viral wildlife videos directly from me. Guys, space is super limited, so click the link in the description or follow this link here and be the first to find out how to snag a spot on one of these two adventures and see if you have what it takes to become brave. You guys ready? I'm gonna, ready. Try, to, I'm gonna try to get it out here. We're gonna see if we can do it without the ball. It, it, sen it senses that. Nope. Gonna need the net, please. To get this grab, I'm gonna put the wasp back in the net, stretch these out, try to get a good hold. This is a powerful wasp, so it's gonna take a lot of force. Oh! Oh my gosh. I got it. Don't worry, guys. Oh my gosh. Talk about aggressive. Let's try to get it like further up in the mat here. This wasp is trying to dig, not going up like I expected. All right, come on, come on. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Come on. Come on. Go up. Go up. Get in the net. Up, up, up. Good, good. Good. Trying to escape. This is why we're doing it inside. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Holy moly. My heart is going about a thousand beats a minute right now. I am struggling to compose myself. It can literally scratch its own back with its stinger. There'd be no safe way to handle this wasp. But it's now or never. I'm Mark Venz, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the mammoth wasp on three. One, two, three. Ah! Ah, she just bite me. Ah! Ah, she stung multiple times. Ah! The bite hurts too. Oh, gosh. Ah, yep. Yeah, scrape me. Mm, all right, all right, all right. Ah, ah, oh. Uh, ah, uh, okay. Describe uh, uh, the pain, Mark. It's, it's building. She stung me so many times. She was also biting me. See all those bite marks? All right, it's building. I'm letting the pain build. I got stung about maybe a dozen times, at least eight times I could count. It just was hitting me again and again and again. And a long sting or two, blood drawn. You can see it's starting to swell. 
You got like this rashy area, some, some kind of rashy things going on here. That might be from the biting. Those mandibles, I felt the most just gnawing into my skin. I'm definitely sweating profusely because the nerves are firing off, but in terms of pain, I definitely took a bunch of good stings. I left it on there as long as I could. I don't know, guys. I'm not out of the woods yet. The aftermath could very well be the worst part. The sting site is really bad. It's already cooked, guys. Look at that. So now we're gonna rate this sting on three factors. Like always, the bite sting index, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. We're gonna give this sting 24 hours to develop. We're gonna keep the EpiPen on standby just in case they start to have an allergic reaction. But here is where the mammoth wasp from Borneo rates on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Roll it. On intimidation, the mammoth wasp took things to a whole new level. Everything about this wasp is massive, including its stinger and its jaws. Plus, I was extra nervous because this is the first documented sting that we know of of this species. So I had no idea what to expect. The mammoth wasp earns every bit of its intimidation score of a 9.8 out of 10. The pain was not quite as I expected. My nerves were on edge, so that rush of pain at the beginning was startling. It immediately jabbed me multiple times and dosed me a venom, which was a bright and red hot kind of pain, but ultimately it did not build to the likes of the tarantula hawk. It also fell short to the giant black carpenter bee, which I had faced 24 hours earlier, so it was fresh on my mind. Oh, wow, yeah. The pain from the black bee was so explosive that it sent shockwaves all throughout my system, where the mammoth wasps just didn't quite get that bad. So overall, I give it a pain score of a 6.9 out of 10. Now for the aftermath, which was indeed much worse than the initial pain of the sting. Over the next 72 hours, the sting site swelled up into a tightly grouped sting mound, showing massive amounts of inflammation and even bruising. It caused a deep throbbing ache that lasted for days and it was almost like having a broken bone. As far as lasting effects go, the mammoth wasp delivered a sting that was on par to some of the meanest insect stings on the planet, earning it an aftermath score of an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Altogether, the mammoth wasp ranks at an 8.5 out of 10 on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index, climbing very high into the all-time rankings, but falling just short of the terrifying tarantula hawk. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.